Hello, my name is Rob Glassburn and I work with 3D Engineering Solutions. Today I'm going to talk about reverse engineering. The first thing I want to explain is why would you need reverse engineering? There are several different possibilities that we commonly see from our customers. One of them, and probably the most frequent, is for tool repair. Oftentimes, as you're running a process creating tools, the final iteration of the tool that is actually used does not match the original model very well. And this is a common occurrence and happens for many different reasons. But the product of that tool works really well in the final end assembly. So when this tool breaks or has damaged, this is a, an issue and needs to be resolved immediately. Using our reverse engineering services, we can uh, accommodate this and give you great looking models that you can recreate your tools by to give you that uh, as-built condition of the parts that you had before. Another way that uh, reverse engineering is used is for custom manufacturing. There are often times when you are presented from your customer a part that you have to do a secondary operation to. Maybe you're, you're cutting shapes, cutting holes, making different modifications to it. However, the part that you're presented with does not exactly match the CAD model. It's bent, it's twist, there's some issues with the part. What we can do is we can model that uh, specific part for you, give you a file that matches the existing specific part, which you can import into your cutting equipment and then cut directly from that. Another instance of using reverse engineering is for creating tool masters. If you have uh, laid up by hand or if you have created clay models of some structure that you want to reproduce really well, we can uh, laser scan that. We can create models from that and create tooling, the inverse of that, and give you tooling. Once you've determined the reason why you'd like to use reverse engineering, you can come to us and we can give you different outputs and with different timings depending on what your absolute needs are. The things that we'll ask you are, what, what do you want for an output? Would you like a model? Do you need to know the material of the components? Or do you need prints? Do you need modifications to the parts as you present it to them? We can provide all of these things. And we also want to know, obviously, your timing. If you're in a, a very crunched position for timing, and we have a lot of customers who are in that position, we can help them as well. We can offer second shift services. We can even offer 24-7 services and on-site services. Once we've established that and we start the work, the first part will be data collection. We'll use common measurement techniques, including probing, using common metrology tools, laser scanning, both long-range laser scanning and short-range laser scanning. We'll use all those scanning methods to create a point cloud with which we can create models from. The two types of scanning services that we currently offer are long-range and short-range scanning. Short-range scanning is for smaller parts, anywhere from a few inches big to you know, 30 feet long. Long range scanning parts might include buildings, large vehicles, boats, things of that nature, very large structures where uh, the absolute accuracy is not as large a concern as it is with short range scanning. Once the data is collected, we'll go to a post-processing phase. And exactly which part of the post-processing phase we use is dependent on what your needs are. If you want us to return to you an as-built model, then we'll use certain techniques. And as-built meaning with minor imperfections, with dense, broken areas, we can return that to you. Or we can return parts that have been modified slightly to show the design intent. So if you have what should be a flat planar surface, but it has a dip in it, we can remove that dip, present it to you as a flat planar surface. It all depends on what your requirements are. For as-built models, we would use an herbing process. And this is a process where we would take the output of the point clouds, create a polygonal model, which, we'll, which we could also export as an STL. And we take that, create a curved network, create patches on that curved network, and export those nerve patches into a CAD system and deliver it to you. That intermediate step that I mentioned, the STLs, if you're able to work with those, we can also provide those to you. For us, those are a lower cost way to get you a model, uh, but they are harder to work with. If you use a CAD system, you're going to find that when you pull those in, they're very large files, they'll be a little hard to rotate and manipulate, but you can model on top of those. We take the STLs that we created from the point clouds, and we bring them into our CAD system, 
and then we parametrically create surfaces, planes, extrusions, revolutions, and then create the model from that. You might be able to do that yourself. Again, if you're able to work with STLs, that might be another option for you. The last option that we have is a hybrid option. What this does is we do a little bit of the nerving process and a little bit of the parametric CAD modeling. Uh, one common example that we see is a, uh, a mold, for example, that has very complex contoured surfaces that would be very difficult to, to model parametrically, but with nerving, difficulty is removed and the speed is increased. However, once you have that, you also have in that same tool very defined and crisp flat planes that would be perfectly flat to fit in other components of your operation. So we can combine parametric modeling and this NURBS modeling and stitch those together so that we present you a model that's a hybrid of both of those. Once we've delivered your model, we have as options to us to do other things. Maybe you present us a part, tool, a component, but your customer or you need uh, modifications to it. Well, we don't need this feature anymore, but we do need these extra features. We can also do that modeling work for you. And as well as that, we can create fully dimensioned GDNT specified prints. We can, we can determine materials if need be and uh, present those to you, all depending on what you need. We're happy to work with you in, in any case. If you have any questions about this process, please call us at area code 513-771-7710. You can also visit us at 3d-engineering.net.